Ceftriaxone Vale is a medication used to treat a wide variety of bacterial infections. It belongs to a class of drugs known as cephalosporin antibiotics and works by stopping the growth of bacteria. It is not recommended for use in newborns with high blood bilirubin levels and premature infants due to an increased risk of side effects. It's important to ask your doctor or pharmacist for more details before using this medication. The daily dosage and optimal timing for taking ceftriaxoneville should be determined by your doctor based on your specific condition. This medication is given by injection into a muscle or vein as directed by your doctor, usually once or twice daily. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. It's important to drink plenty of fluids while using this medication unless your doctor directs you otherwise. If you are using this medication at home, make sure to learn all preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Avoid mixing ceftriaxone with four fluids that have calcium in them. Before using, check this product visually for particles or discoloration. If either is present, do not use the liquid. Learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. If you are using the frozen pre-mixed solution, thaw the bag at room temperature or in the refrigerator. Do not thaw by putting in a water bath or microwaving. After thawing, shake well and squeeze the bag to check for leaks. Discard solution if the bag leaks. Do not refreeze the solution after thawing. For the best effect, use this antibiotic at evenly spaced times. To help you remember, use this medication at the same times every day. Continue to use this medication for the full time prescribed, even if symptoms disappear after a few days. Stopping the medication too early may result in a return of the infection. Tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. When using ceftriaxoneville, you may experience swelling, redness, or pain at the injection site. If these effects worsen or persist, notify your doctor or pharmacist immediately. It's important to remember that your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the potential risks. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's crucial to contact your doctor if you experience any serious side effects such as easy bruising slash bleeding, unusual tiredness, symptoms of gallbladder disease, signs of kidney problems, pink slash bloody slash dark urine, painful slash frequent urination, backslash side pain, yellowing of the eyes slash skin, uncontrollable movements, confusion, or seizures. Additionally, ceftriaxoneville may rarely cause a severe intestinal condition due to a bacteria called C. difficile. If you experience persistent diarrhea, abdominal or stomach pain slash cramping, or blood slash mucus in your stool, it's important to seek medical attention. Long-term use of this medication may lead to oral thrush or a new yeast infection. Contact your doctor if you notice white patches in your mouth, changes in vaginal discharge, or other new symptoms. If ceftriaxone is mixed with a numbing medication before injection, it may rarely cause a serious blood problem called methemoglobinemia. Seek medical help right away if you experience pale-slash-gray-slash-blue skin, fast heartbeat, or shortness of breath. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, it's important to seek medical help immediately if you notice symptoms such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Remember to never use anti-diarrhea or opioid products if you experience symptoms of a severe intestinal condition due to C. difficile. If you are in the U.S., call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may also report side effects to the FDA. In Canada, Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects and report them to Health Canada. It's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to ceftriaxone or other antibiotics before using this medication. Also, make sure to disclose your medical history, especially if you have gallbladder, kidney, liver, or stomach-slash-intestinal diseases. It's important to note that ceftriaxone may interfere with the effectiveness of live bacterial vaccines, so it's essential to inform your healthcare professional if you are using ceftriaxone before getting any immunizations or vaccinations. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using ceftriaxone. Additionally, before undergoing any surgery, make sure to inform your doctor about all the medications and products you are using. When taking ceftriaxone veil, 
it's essential to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how it works or increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not make any changes to your medication dosage without consulting your doctor first. Additionally, it's important to be cautious of potential interactions with calcium-containing four fluids. This medication may also interfere with certain lab tests, such as urine glucose tests, which could lead to false results. Make sure to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are taking ceftriaxonevil. In terms of daily dosage, the amount of ceftriaxonevil will be determined by your doctor based on your medical condition and response to treatment. It is typically administered once or twice daily. It's important to take it at the same time each day for the best effect. Overall, ceftriaxonevil is a valuable medication for treating various bacterial infections, but it's crucial to be aware of potential interactions and follow your doctor's guidance for the best results. If someone takes too much of ceftriaxone and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help by calling 911 or a poison control center. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include seizures. Always take the medication as directed by your healthcare provider and never exceed the recommended dosage. It's important not to share ceftriaxonevil with others. Your doctor may also request lab and medical tests, like a complete blood count and kidney function tests, while you are using this medication. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments. Be sure to take ceftriaxonevil exactly as directed by your doctor. If you happen to miss a dose, consult with your healthcare provider to establish a new dosing schedule. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Be sure to consult the product instructions and your pharmacist for proper storage details, and remember to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. It is important not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. When the product has expired or is no longer needed, be sure to properly discard it. It's recommended to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.